What is up, YouTube? Euclid Gamer back here with you again, and today we're going to be playing our first episode in a series that I will be completing, and that is for Alien Isolation. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Twana Century Fox! Bringing back that feel for the old 70s classic. Creative Assembly. I love CA. A lot of people do not feel the same way, but I've always liked Creative Assembly. Big fan of the Total War series, too. God. For that eerie feeling for Alien Isolation, press any key. And there's Sevastopol in the background. God, this game was so satisfying to play, I swear. <sighs> Small ramble, I'm a big Aliens fan. Everybody says that when they make a video. They're a big fan of this, a big fan of that. There are a few things I'm an enormous fan about, and then other things I dislike things. Halo is probably my biggest series ever. But Alien is a close runner-up, in all honesty. I love Alien. I wish there were more books available than there already are, as I've just started getting started with them. But Alien Isolation tells a really good story of the original Ripley character's daughter, Amanda Ripley, and what she has to deal with in this, what was supposed to be a routine mission. Kind of a cliche, but it makes a cliche work. And I really liked this game. Um, don't remember a lot of what happened, honestly, because it took a while to beat the game. In my opinion, is I had to play it every other day just due to being busy. But we're gonna go ahead and get started now with options. Audio. Full dynamic range. I'll turn the subtitles on for you guys. And back. Video. I wanna make sure everything is as I want it. The graphics are full. Good to go. So we're going to go ahead and get started and jump in. I've got all of them available. We'll just go ahead and do Alien Isolation. Play the main game. And... We'll play it on hard. <laughs> Adjust the slider to the Siegston. Siegston logo is barely visible against the black background. There we go. Do the look there. Segan Sun. Look for terminals to unlock map schematics. Some doors have been secured with security braces. Use the maintenance jack to release the security braces. I believe that's what the last part said. <coughs> Excuse me. Here we go. I'm going to shut up now. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. I love it. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Signing off. Alien isolation. Here we go. I love it. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A 
commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. Yeah. What did it tell you? We don't know. <coughs> the unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Huh. God, it's it arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Hmm. I'm no expert at this game, just to give you guys a fair warning. Oh man. It's been a while since I've played it. Been a while. Been a while. Here we are. Move keys to walk. E to sign in. God, I miss that so much. Let me check something real quick here. Do our audio. Objective updated, get dressed. User sign in. There's other monitors you can kind of use, though. This is exactly what I'm talking about with the Alien series. There's those the goofy-looking dipping flamingos. The entire Alien series, or the original Alien series, War in Totality, Frank Herman. But the entire Alien series is, uh, yep, you can search pretty much anywhere and find stuff. Is just flogged. It's just smothered in all this retro-style technology slash... Just everything from the walls to the corridors to the cameras. Everything is like futuristic, but it's boxy and old and almost inefficient looking. So I think that's why I'm such a big fan of this series. And close this. That's so cool. We're going to go get started. Apparently, yep, I'm naked. I need to go and... Uh, Settle myself. Uh oh. Look at these old computers, man. The terminals, everything about this game. I think that's the main reason that I'm a big fan of the Alien series, other than, of course, the classic. Well, you know, the classic feel of the series itself. Like, the old style horror movies that build up and just. They seem cliche, but they're still satisfying. Singing in the bathtub. Shower and everything. Get rid of the funk. Okay. There's a save point. Crew roster. Ripley. Signed in. I compulsively check for things because you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna need. And I'll save the game after I get dressed. Taylor. 
<coughs> Excuse me. I love these. Just this this slot. Like there's no key or small chip. It's just this big motherboard and a clear case chip, and I love that. Move this away a little bit. Uh, yes. I've never played this on PC. I I suspect it'll be more enjoyable. Look at these little old little robots, man. Everything about it. Old TVs, just everything was big and blocky. An access terminal. Personnel. Verlaine, you are on the lookout for a navigational officer. I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The Megacorps undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, still, I hear Whalen yutani pay well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat them right, let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. Yeah. Well, there we go. Q is off there. Get used to my PC controls. Save the game and I'm pretty much ready to go. Here we go. Flight suits. That's right. Oh man, that old classic feel. Engine maintenance and repair. Just all the different stuff in here, man. These old designed corridors, it's got like almost, I think both Halo and the Alien series have these designs to them that I just love. I can't, I don't know, man. I just get excited every time I play them to the point it's probably going to annoy you guys, but I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. I think the lab is around here. Yeah, here we are. Hello. Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Speak to Samuels. Completed. <laughs> what? Nice. That is so awesome. It's just a shout out to all the different things from the old movies. We'll head back this way and see if we can't find... Taylor and see what she's up to. Catch. These old steam vents, man. Ah, here we go. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep yeah. regularly. <laughs> you get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Hmm. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Yeah, it's your job, I guess. Realize. Your mother has been missing for 15 years. It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, <laughs> have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Yeah. Well, I spoke to her. All ah. personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Get all these scraps. Get everything you can find on the ship. Cornflakes, bran flakes, porridge oats. That's another thing that reminds me of Halo. I remember on the Pillar of Autumn level and Halo Combat Evolved. 
Um, hey, dude's creepy. I remember just all the different uh, sections. Huh. Look at these old Game Boy machines and stuff just sitting around. All these different old retro look things. Just everything's just nice. It's from a different time. It kind of takes you away from everything you're dealing with in today's world. Access terminal. Okay. The Stromo incident to N. Taylor. R.E. Nostromo Incident Whale Utani File. Hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Whalen Utani cargo vessel, the U.S. CSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew, apart from a new science officer. The rest of the crew had worked together before seven and all. Dallas is the captain, Ash is the science officer, Kane, or is it Kane, executive officer, Ripley is the warrant officer, and Lambert is the navigation officer. Makes me want to go back and watch the movies. Torrens Manifest. <coughs> captain Verlaine, Diane, Diane Verlaine, owner Verlaine. Outbound and return transportation for Wayland Utani retrieval team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three WY employees, Samuel C, Ripley A, Taylor N. Passenger Samuels, Christopher Ripley, Amanda Taylor. Number of decks two, number of crew two. Interstellar communications antenna, long haul hypersleep chamber. I'm going to avoid reading all that unnecessary stuff from now on. There we go, tab is the map. But I love these old monitors, just the sound, that, that humming sound of the machines whenever you're using them. Just, God, I, I love everything about it. And I think that's another reason why this game really earned my respect. Here we are. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. That's Sigourney you Weaver. We're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Huh. Security panels. Everybody's kind of got their own seats. Sebastopol. Everything's all hunky dory up here. What is that? Helmet random. Look at all this old stuff, man. It's amazing we get fascinated with things that were boring to everybody once upon a time. And that is no different here. There we go. Collect briefing file. Here we go. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Of course. Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrent. Say again? Huh. The 
station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. Mm. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. I'll talk more once we get into Sebastopol, I promise. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only <laughs> option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Well, this seems about like the right time to cut it quits, guys. I'm gonna do that just because I don't want the episodes to get too long. Depressurizer. Oh, fuck. Hating this. <laughs> just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Here we go. <laughs> no warning. Just keep moving. Taylor Ripley, hold on. Oh God. <laughs> it did not hold on at all. Wow. Well, guys, I think it's about a good time to cut it off. Like I said, if you guys have not tried this game, you need to. Alien Isolation. First time I tried it on the PC, and I've already noticed a tremendous difference in graphics. And I, that's kind of one of the main things that I'm wanting to do, is to mainly scare myself, just to kind of get the feel for it. But that's episode one. Episode two, I think, is going to pick up a little more, get a little bit more horror element of the game. So... And in closing, guys, that is it for my first video. I'll try to put the second one either tonight or tomorrow. But until next time, guys, I'm Euclid Gamer. Stick around if you want to see some more of my videos for the first ones that I've put up. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos by me in the future. Catch you later, guys. See ya.